Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4 Part 10. And today we're going to be doing the FR Challenge. And for this segment, I'm actually going to be using... I'm going to roll with this. Because I bought it. Because I thought it was cool. And I don't actually know if it has a use, so I guess I'll use it for this event. So, here we go. FR cars only, standard sports tires required, same credits as the last series per win. Pretty much all different tracks. And yeah, let's uh, get started off at Seattle. Alright, something tells me I'm going to be pretty underpowered for this. But before we get started, disabling the aids, let's get started with us. 96 points, alright. Should be quite interesting. This car looks just so cool. I really like it. Although it is a TVR, I've heard they're not that great in real life. Let's see what we can do with it. I forgot to change the oil on this thing. And you know what? I don't, I don't think I am because that might just make it a little bit too powerful because... Changing the oil increases your horsepower in this game quite a bit. This Chrysler 300 is not going to let me around it until I do that. I knew there was going to be a 240 in here. That's kind of why I didn't want to use my own 240. Holy shit. I just got destroyed right there. Going down the back street. Seems like as far as, like, speed and power go, I'm on even ground with them. My car is a little bit heavier than... Okay, punting him into the... Didn't really even do much because he just slowed down way too early for it anyways. God damn it, I can't get around these guys. Wall. Oh, going way too wide. Yikes. Already up to, well, I was in second place until this crossfire outpowered me. Took that turn pretty well. Used every bit of curbing I had. This car is really balanced. It's not like the front end is not flying up on the jumps or anything. Oh, I'm going to hit the wall. S2000 is probably going to lose me on this section. Yep, pushing me into the wall. Go figure. Forgot to shift. Nice. I'm going to try the next lap in this view. Got to make a move around this guy. Probably right here. Uh, well. Well, that didn't really work out. Neither did that. You, the AI break way too early in a lot of these maps. And I should probably do more breaking so I'm not hitting every wall there is. Well, now I... Pretty much just have to maintain my lead. Those headlights are just, Okay, I better pay attention. Fuck. I was gonna say, those headlights are still showing through the road. I wonder if, like, on the bigger tracks, if you'll be able to see the opponent's headlights from, like, across... Oh, god damn it. From across the track, like, through the woods and everything. Probably not, though. We... We... Alright, just take it easy through this last section. Don't need to go all out. Yeah. 
And there we go. 96 A spec points, not bad. As long as I don't get any faster opponents, I might increase the weight ballast a little bit, depending on what track is next. So yeah, there we go. Four seconds, uh, five seconds ahead of the leader. Another 1,500 credits to my name. And I do not want to retry. I actually want to go to the next race, damn it. So, on to the second race. So now we're heading to Sukuba Circuit for three laps. That 300ZX and the SL500 kind of worry me a little bit. But we're going to give it a shot anyways. 80 points this time? Alright. Lower than the last race, at least. <clears throat> and here we go at Tsukuba. With a rolling start, so I'm going to have to make up quite a bit of ground in just three short laps. See if these guys will actually give me room. Just dive bomb into fourth place and smack the Chrysler on my way through. That Chrysler's taking the corner way too slow. Don't get in the grass, don't get in the grass. And yeah, I've smashed my way into second place already. Okay, way too wide right there. Didn't lose too much ground, though. And yeah. Already right behind the leader. As long as I don't catastrophically fail. And I'm going into the grass. Eh, just a tad. Is this an infinity? Gross. God damn it, I keep forgetting about that get ready to drive shit. I literally can't see it from where I'm sitting. But I could see it on OBS on my second monitor. I'm gonna have to start getting in the habit of getting that thing off the screen, as well as changing the resolution every time I start up the game. Already pulling away from the infinity? I'm pretty 90% sh sure that's an infinity. Oh god. At least I didn't go into the gravel. And there we go. All right, now we're on the final lap. Sweet. Oh, kind of not much left to really commentate over at this point. I really wish the split time difference would actually show. I wonder if there's actually a fix for that. If there's like a PCSX2 Discord or something. Probably going to try to look that up. However, I am playing the game on the disc, so I can't really mod the game in that way. Or maybe it's just a setting in PCSX2 that I got to change. I don't know. And there we go. Race 2 complete. I kind of like this little TVR. It's kind of cool. Drive is pretty decent as well. Yet another 1500, and we shall move on to race number 3. Up next, we got Special Stage Route 5. Alright, this time we got a few different opponents. 
but nothing I'm worried about. 107 point race. Okay, it's either that Skyline GTSC or the RX-7. Probably the Skyline. But let's see what we can do anyways. I've wanted to do a chase cam on special stage because of the whole night thing anyways. Oh yeah, it's definitely that GTST. It's already pulling away. But not too worried about it. Okay, the emulator does not like the tunnel on special stage. Did the same thing in the super license. Okay, holy shit. Fucking Nissan thing. It's a Nissan that looks like an Infinity, which they're pretty much the same brand, but Infinity is just overpriced Nissan. Also, assholes drive Infinities. People say, like, oh, like, Mercedes and BMW drivers are bad. No. N no. Infinity drivers are the literal worst. Because 99.69% of them are douche canoes. Oh, if I didn't turn in too early, I probably would have made that. And holy hell, I'm first place like halfway through the lap. Okay, that's a little bit tricky. Every car handles pretty differently on this game. This is probably where some of them are going to gain a little bit of ground on me. But at least the uh, GTSD started in the back. Because if he didn't, I'd probably still be catching up to him. Approaching the tunnel, my frames and the speed of the game is going to drop significantly. As it always does. Once again, I forgot to get rid of that stupid text at the bottom. <laughs> Fuck. Like I said, it's going to take a while to get into the habit of doing that. Also, I gotta start remembering to save the replay for at least one of these races so I can get a thumbnail. So I don't have to go back after I'm done editing the video to get a thumbnail. And waste more in-game days. Smack. I've gained quite a big lead on them now, so... Oh, shh. Fuck. Fuck. Well, lap's almost over anyways. Pretty sure I can take this flat out. Yeah. And there we have it. Very hard to keep the wheel perfectly straight. Just because of how sensitive this thing is. And there we go. 107 A spec points, 4 seconds ahead of the SIL 80. Surprisingly, that GTSC didn't do shit. But hey. There we go. Once again, 1500. And on to the next race. Next up, we got two laps at Laguna Seca. All right, similar competition, probably similar aspect points. Yep, 104. I'm gonna remember to get rid of that fucking text this time. Because buggy shit. And there we go.
GTST is starting way out front this time, so... Maybe this time he'll actually do something. I don't know. I don't know how I should get around this guy. I guess I'll go on the inside. Yep. Right call. I think I'll have to take the lead on lap two instead. I don't think I'll make it way up there on this lap. I'm gonna... This guy's gonna break way too early once again. Called it. Uh, maybe I braked a little too late. GTSC's falling behind, actually. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Kind of forgot about how uh, sharp that turn is. Because it's a lot more difficult now than it used to be. Handle the quartz screw pretty well, at least. And more dirt, gravel, shit. Outbreak the hell out of him right there. My goodness. Okay, this 240 slowed down a lot after the turn for some reason. He does not accelerate me, though. Can I get around him all the way, or is he gonna... Uh, yep. I'll have to outbreak him right here so I can actually get a good turn. Alright, now just gotta pass the 300ZX again. Alright, just don't fuck up this turn. Seems like we're pretty even on that. Except, okay, that's not, no, God. Downshifted the first as well. That was terrible. He just wasn't giving me any room. Just take it easy. Just maintaining my lead is the only thing that's important now. There we go, handled that quite better than last time. Didn't handle this as well, though. And there we go. Victory for race number three. Easy peasy. Is it race number three or four? I already forgot. Shit. Collect the next 1,500 credits. And just so I don't forget, save the replay because there's a good potential thumbnail somewhere in there. All right, there we go. Replay saved. And on to the next race. All right, looks like it's the final event on Motorland. That G35 starting out front is probably going to be an issue. And it's also rolling start. 75 points, so a lot less than the last race, at least. And holy shit, we're close together for a rolling start. Usually we're spaced way out. But fuck it, I'll take it. Also, I'm sitting way too close to my pedals, so my knees are hitting the desk. I need to get a proper sim rig set up. Oh, shit.
smash my way into third place. Get around this. Is that a Nissan? Yeah, that's a Nissan, even though it looks exactly like a G35 sedan. That wasn't very pretty right there. Oh, god damn it. Typical Nissan Infinity drivers brake checking you. Let me just get around you real quick and cut through the grass. Now I just gotta catch G35. And get around him without dying, because Infinity Drivers don't like you passing them. Oh, okay then, I can just do that. That works too. Wow, he took that turn terribly. But, fuck it. Seems like it's really easy to go wide and into the pits on accident right there. And into the grass. Oh, don't hit that. Oof. That would have been good if that stopped my car completely. Probably would have had to restart the race. Now I just gotta avoid it two more times. This track is kind of cool. Very tight, though. It's a good drift course, I'm pretty sure. Just all throttle play down through that whole sweeper. Gained a solid lead on the G35, so I think I'm pretty set to to win this one. Almost went a little too wide right there, but it seems like it worked out. Up until this point. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's gravel. They are catching up fast. Okay, well, it looks like I managed to recover. That wouldn't have been good. So there we go. 75 more A-Spec points, series complete, 1,500 more credits, and prize car. And the prize car for winning the FR Challenge, Skyline 2000 GTB. Sick. It's a 1967, too. Classic Japanese. So, next up we got the four-wheel drive challenge. Probably gonna have to buy a new car for that. Now, where is this thing? There it is. Pretty cool. Might use it for a few events, I don't know. So yeah, stay tuned for the FR Challenge in episode 11.